Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be testing out some art hacks. Now I have not done this in I don't even know how long. My channel at one point was literally just me testing out random art hacks I found online. Usually I would test out ones that looked kind of stupid. There we go, that fell off. Oh, that fell off as well. I think it looks quite cool. It kind of got to the point where I had pretty much tested out every single art hack on the internet. And that's why I just, I, time went on, didn't do any more. But there may not be any bad art hacks remaining on the internet for me right now, at least not that I've seen. Today we're going to be trying out Instagram art hacks that I found. I will forewarn you, these art hacks are kind of themed to fall. I know it's like November. Most people that are normal haven't put their Christmas decorations out yet. Don't judge me. This first art hack that I found was really cool because it was basically an art hack to make something look terracotta without actually being terracotta. You know, if you don't want to just buy it in the first place, you can make it look like it. There was actually a couple of these I found. One was actually posted by Plaid Crafts. They do a lot of the folk art paint. And another one was made by a creator called Love Nickily. I hope I said that right. Basically, she uses terracotta paint, but she mixes in baking soda in order to kind of give it that more terracotta vibe. I use two different paint colors from Michaels and some baking soda. You'll use more of the coffee latte paint and a little bit of the terracotta. Mix them together and add in baking soda until you get a mousse-like consistency. Use a foam brush to paint on at least two to three coats of your mixture onto your pumpkin. You can stipple on the paint to create even more texture. So this is really cool because it's actually a pottery barn pumpkin that people love to buy each year and they're very, very expensive because they're actual like terracotta. I to make those like pumpkins that are plastic from Walmart or like cheap items look like they're the more expensive ones. Brush on some flour all over to get that whitewashed look. Not only does she mix baking soda with the paint to kind of give it that more glazed effect, brushes some on afterwards to kind of give it an even more terracotta kind of vibe. They just look so unbelievably cool. Like I am genuinely really impressed and I didn't know this was something that you could actually do. And this one was posted by Plaid Crafts. If you're like me, you're trying to find a dupe for those amazing Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkins. Well, I went to Goodwill, found some cookie jars and some luminaries, and you can see these pumpkins are everywhere online and they're so expensive, but they're so so yeah, he's using folk art terracotta paints and they're saying you don't need to mix in any baking soda with it. But I feel like the effect comes out so much better when you actually add the baking soda into it. To distress it a little bit and give it that powdery terracotta look with our white color. This is just a scruffy brush dried off onto a napkin and then you get this beautiful flowered caked on look. So he actually uses white paint instead of baking soda or flour to give it that kind of brushed distressed look. So I'm gonna be using the baking soda mixed with the paint today because I feel like this is gonna give it the best look. And I'm really excited to make a Pottery Barn like dupe for those really cool pumpkins. So let's go to Michael's. We're back. I definitely didn't buy this several days ago and pretend I just went. Now I actually purchased, oh no, it's cracked. Oh crap. That's fine. I actually purchased a ceramic one from Michaels because this was actually on a really good sale. Um, I also bought this specific terracotta paint, which was actually the one they showed in the video. And this was from Plaid Crafts themselves. So this is one they suggested to look like the Pottery Barn one. So this is the one I went with. Oh, that, I was gonna say I've got Mod Podge, but that's for the next craft. Let's ignore that one. And I've got some baking soda. It is used, but that's okay. Hopefully there's no bugs in it. And I have my paper plate. So, I'm excited. So, first thing I'm gonna do is put this into the plate. Ooh, this one's already kind of thick. I'm gonna need a lot for this, so I maybe should have bought two, actually. I should be, no, I should be okay. This lasts pretty well. I'm just gonna, I guess, just... Okay, so we're just gonna mix the baking powder into the paint. Kind of give it that gritty look. Okay, so I'm actually not going to blend this either. Like the, the thicker it is, the more brush stroke like it is, the more it looks like terracotta. So I'm just gonna kind of be heavy handed with it and just see how it comes out. This is looking so cool. I am so impressed with this. I'm actually really excited to see how this comes out because I've seen those Pottery Barn pumpkins so many times and obviously they're the price they are because they're actual terracotta, but if you don't want to spend the price, this would be such a great... Just 
adding a tiny bit of water to it to try and stop it from drying weirdly. But I don't want to destroy the texture. Definitely layer it on too with thick layers. Oh yeah, nice and juicy. It's kind of stinky actually. It's like a, a good but, but bad smell at the same time. Who would have thought painting a pumpkin orange and gritty would take such a long time? Thing is that the paint doesn't spread as far, therefore you use more paint. So you may save money on buying the uh, expensive terracotta one, but you may pay the same in paint. <laughs> you can add water to make it spread a little further, but the effect works so much better without adding water. Okay, there he is, look at that! How good does that look? He is like the perfect terracotta texture. Oh, well, <sighs> okay, that's fine. We have our flower and I've just dropped it again. Gonna go ham on it. Oh yeah, look at that. I feel like this is something you'd have to keep redoing though, but it seems to be working. That is so cool. This is, this is such a great idea. Cause literally for like $15, you can get one of those pumpkins. Plus, if you wanna make it cheaper, you can actually use those plastic pumpkins. I just didn't wanna buy one. This is looking so good. As far as a terracotta painted flower pumpkin could go. You know what, I think that's looking pretty good. I don't think we need to do much more with that. Okay, so we made a lot of mess, however, with this like what an awesome little hack or craft whatever you want to call it I'm just like kind of obsessed with like just brushing on the brushing on the flower to make him more hazy and we made a mess like I mean it wouldn't be a hack if we didn't just make a complete mess would it 10 out of 10 will destroy your paintbrush though. Like it, it genuinely will destroy your paintbrush. So don't use an expensive one. Okay, next up, let's get started on our next hack. I laid a base coat of spray paint down just to give the glue something to stick to. I got my napkins from Michael's, but they're just very basic, cheap party napkins. You can get some from Walmart or Joanne's. So You'll definitely want to cool separate hack. the napkins. And then just start by cutting out your shapes and trimming off any excess borders just so that it fits together better. You can pretty I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know that this is what she was gonna do. I thought she was actually transferring the ink somehow with Mod Podge, because I've actually done this myself before onto wood. You much use any type of paintbrush or sponge brush and lay down your napkin on top and do a light layer of Mod Podge right on top of that. And I took it outside and I sprayed it with this sealer, which gives it a nice glossy finished look. And then I basically just stuck some thrifted stems inside and here is how it turned out. Just such an amazing way to use Mod Podge. Honestly, there are so many things you can do with this stuff. It's amazing. So I actually bought the exact same napkins that she had just because they're very pretty and they were basically the only napkins Michaels had. But I did also get something similar to what she had in the video. Just a little bit less spooky. There's this one, there's a giant headed skeleton face, skull, that's what it's called. And then of course I got a little bottle of Mod Podge. I'm just gonna take these out, peel that first layer. Just like that. Okay, so we have our little skull thing here. And we're gonna cut out a lot of this napkin and paste it to it. She does say about spraying some paint over to adhere it. I'm just gonna use the Mod Podge. I'm gonna start off by just cutting out these pumpkins here. So I'm just gonna paint on the Mod Podge. I'm gonna use this to adhere it. be a fun thing to do with every season like you could probably do something like this with a Christmas decoration
basically doing paper mache, but it's like on ceramic. What's cool about this hack though is the idea to use napkins and things like this because napkins are so cheap and you get such a beautiful pattern from them. And I just think it's a really cool idea because why not? If you have unused napkins or you want to make a decoration that looks expensive but isn't, I am all for upcycling things and making things look new or refreshed. Before I end the video too, I wanted to let you know that I've actually finally set up my Patreon again. I had one a few years ago and I've never really found the right time to bring it back, but I have a Patreon now if you're interested in joining me over there. No pressure whatsoever, um, it just helps to support my channel if you're interested. I have a Discord chat and I have like a monthly art live stream where we make crafts and things like that. I'm also putting people's names in the credits of the videos, so I just wanted to let you know if you are interested in supporting my channel through Patreon. Um, it is over there. I have a post kind of explaining it all, but um, I'll probably talk a little bit more about it in a future video as to why I'm bringing it back now. But yeah, if you wanna check it out, I will leave a link to it in the description. I'm gonna be honest, I've done a lot of different art hacks and art techniques and different tricks over the years um, for videos, but I will admit, this, both of these have probably been two of my favorite things that I've ever done because they're just, they're so effective and they work and it's just really fun. It's, it's just a great simple way to make something look really good. Okay, so every surface is covered now. I'm just gonna give it a layer of Mod Podge and let it dry and then I can spray seal it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. These hacks, these tricks were so fun. I honestly highly recommend that you do it even if it's for Christmas or a different holiday, or even now, like it's still fall, it's still Thanksgiving. And But if you would like to see me try out more art hacks in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because it really does help me out to have the feedback. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.